People who moved out of the parents' house before 30, how? Started working while I was in school. Got out as soon as I could. Roommates. Got kicked out at 14. Finished high school sleeping on friends' couches while serving tables. Had a ton of roommates for the next 10 years. At any given time I was living with like 3 or 4 people. It was never boring haha. -ha. I moved out at 19. My mom and stepdad moved to the other end of the town because rent was a lot cheaper. But I didn't want to live there so I looked for a small cheap flat L. Found one. Had a job. Some savings. Somehow it worked out. Eventually found some used furniture and a new bed. Life was much cheaper like 15 years ago. Roommates in debt. My dad died when I was 17 and my stepmom kicked me out. Sink or swim baby. All that aside. I don't think there's any shame in staying with your family in this economy as long as you're contributing. Communal living is going to be the new norm. Shit was a lot less expensive in 2003. Living frugally. I couldn't afford consoles. I couldn't afford TV. Even my cell was a used unit I got for cheap. All I could afford was food rent and basic utilities but that leaves a lot of time for work so i work it's not fun now i am better off so i am enjoying myself with things i never had in my youth so pardon this 40 plus year old nearing 50 dude that still watches cartoons and plays video games this was early 2010s job accepted that the life i wanted to have versus what I could afford were two very different things. X. Knowing that 2.5k downtown loft apartment was probably not the best decision when I could find a rundown, but entirely livable 1BR for 900. Going out each weekend is fun, but 99 cent rental from Redbox was fun enough and cheap. Lots of living within my means. Note. I can't say all this without acknowledging this gets harder to do each year because literally nothing is cheap anymore. Living in Finland. 1. Compulsory conscription. 2. Supported student housing. Military. I left for college at 17 with a massive scholarship and worked my ass off throughout and after college to avoid returning to my hometown and memories of abuse there. It seems like a lot of people here moved out in a sink or swim scenario. If you're able to take your time, it may be a luxury. Roommates, extra gigs for spending money, ramen. I was 19 and went to the cities on my own. I learned how to survive. Not necessarily thrive, but I was young. Rent was $375 for a small apartment in a small town in 2015. My roommate owns his house. But it was his grandfather's and he grew up here. Neither one of us is an adult. We just have low standards. I eat Walmart canned vegetables for lunch and don't go anywhere or do anything. Just work and tread water and watch pirated anime. Wasn't exactly given a choice when I turned 18. Sheer will and determination not to move back in with my parents. Jobs. Roommates. Frugal living. Don't get me wrong. My parents are awesome people. But I'm an adult and when I turned 18. As the last kid. It was time for them to have their lives. They'd welcome me back even now in my 30s if I needed it. But it isn't fair to them. And so my determination to give them their privacy and lives keeps me from doing so. Got a job, rented. Moved in with roommates. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.